Here's one of the coolest ways you can add detail to your hard surface models. I'm going to show you how you can add knurling like this to any part of your model. So you're going to learn a couple of really useful tools to make this. You're going to need a cylinder. So in this case, I'll place my 3D cursor right here in the middle of this circle. I'll add a new cylinder and the cylinder needs to have a shitload of vertices. So I'm going to use something like 250 for this. Now just rotate this cylinder and scale it up so it fits the area in which you want to have the knurling. In my case, it should be shaped something like this. Then go to face select mode by pressing 3. Delete the front and the back faces of the cylinder. So this way you only have the ring left. And you want to make sure that you have enough loop cuts that every face is turned into almost a perfect square like this. I know what you're thinking, Aryan, this is a shitload of polygons. Don't worry, you can bake this as a normal map very easily. And check out my normal map baking tutorial. But now you have to select everything with A. Go to face and click on extrude individual faces. All right. Now right click to snap everything back into place, switch your pivot point to individual origin, and now you can scale every single face individually to make it a lot smaller. Once you've done that, just press Alt S, and this is going to allow you to push the smaller faces outwards or inwards. You want to push these faces slightly outwards to create this bumpy effect. And now this will look like knurling on this object. You can also do the other stuff like extrude some more edges from the sides here just so you have a nice. You can also improve this a little bit further by extruding some of the edges from the sides maybe extruding them inwards and down a little bit. And it might be nice to also bevel this edge depending on what you're trying to do. And now you have some crazy looking detail on your object and you can animate this and make it look even cooler. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.